Statal TV, promoting the role of state corporations. so much for watching Parastatal TV. I am your host Paul K10. Small medium enterprises better known to you as SMEs contribute to a reasonable revenue in terms of the Kenyan economy. This year they have been having their SME Festival 2016 which is better known to you as SME Fest 2016. As Parastatal TV we would want to give you that exclusive experience just to find out what the small medium enterprises have on offer in line with their theme which is creating innovative solutions for the general growth of the small medium enterprises in terms of revenue collection in the Kenyan economy. Let's get inside and find out what they have to offer for this year. The SME Fest is organized by Open World Limited in partnership with the government, Ken Invest, the Export Promotion Council and the Kenya Private Sector Alliance among other stakeholders. It is the largest trade expo and B2B for SMEs, service providers and corporate whom their value is value supply chain is SME driven. With that in mind, Kenyans from all walks of life couldn't shy away from being part of this year's edition which attracted over 500 delegates and more than 120 exhibitors. From shipping companies to insurance groups to manufacturers, the SME world was well represented. Our first stop was at DataGuard Limited a value-added distributor of leading and global IT hardware, software and accessory brands for designing and savvy consumers. The main product this year was the Beat Defender, an award-winning antivirus and security software. We have both corporate and uh, consumer solutions. Um, for, the corporate, for the SMEs, we provide for them the corporate solutions, whereby we provide security for them. So Beat Defender is an antivirus. Um, it's a very powerful antivirus that actually protects most, um, <clears throat> most of our clients from malwares and, antivir and viruses. Sorry. And also, uh, we have a good support team that for some of our corporate clients who have Defender, that we provide for them. For the SMEs, what we are doing is providing for them products that will actually enable them um, to get protection from such <clears throat> such uh, instances whereby their data land on wrong hands. For example, the Bitdefender Corporate Antivirus provides security from crypto lockers. A crypto locker or crypto wall or cryptocurrency, there are some of those um, ap applications or tools that lock uh, the files on your PC such that you cannot be able to access them and then you're required to pay a ransom an amount of money so that you can be able to require your to acquire your file so with B, if you have Bitdefender on your machine you do not need to worry about any crypto worker or crypto wall or cryptocurrency on the on the other part for the consumer bit for the user at home we have Bitdefender total security we have Bitdefender internet security and Bitdefender antivirus they all protect the users from uh, malicious programs even on the internet because most of the malicious programs come from the internet so it provides that it also provides like device control the device control is something whereby you place your flash disk or something that is um, and it has a program that's malicious so the defender can be able to provide such protection so mostly we make our product easy to use we make our product very light on your PC and ensure that it has the maximum level of protection for example our total security has file encryption it has the anti-theft features and we've gone as far as providing antiviruses for our mobile phones most people in the sme sector use their smartphones to access various data 
but if you don't have protection in your phone, that means your data is as insecure as anybody else's data. So we provide uh, antivirus, and that antivirus provides also application protection, web protection, and it has also anti-theft features for our phones. Our next stop was at the Kenya Private Sector Alliance, KEPSA, where I sought to find out what the SME Fest offers to various exhibitors. A forum like this does a lot of things. For me, it has created a platform for issues to be presented, for people to network and understand what others are doing. But more importantly for me, it's really around showcasing uh, what this sector is doing for Kenya. And as KEPSA, our role is to to advocacy our role is to make sure we become the voice for the private sector and by being here uh, being represented here we're really demonstrating that um, we speak for everyone not just big business and that we actually speak also for uh, SMEs and for this sector which we really believe is going to be the driver uh, of the uh, of growth in our economy going forward a lot of the people who provide finance are a part of our membership and trying to bring the two together and seeing how can they help support this particular sector in this big challenge they always talk about around uh, finance. Um, the other thing they talk about is around if they want to have governance and uh, meet uh, the requirements, uh, legal requirements. Again, because we have forums and we have um, relationships with the people who create um, these uh, legislations and regulations is around how we engage them so that they make them friendly and so they encourage um, small business to operate above water not below because of the fear that they have in terms of being compliant so those are two big things that have really come up and which consistently come up and which I strongly believe that as KEPSA we'll continue to advocate and work on because this actually is the future. I do hope that you're learning something to find out what exactly the small medium enterprises better known to you as SMEs are currently doing for the overall contribution of the Kenyan economy. Moving on, let's now go to more exhibitors and find out what exactly is their personal contribution to the overall Kenyan economy. For a nation to be successful in the future, Investing in the youth by nurturing innovative minds is the backbone of any developing country. In Kenya to be specific, a positive initiative by the Tabitha Karanja-led Kerocha Foundation has transformed thousands of Kenyan youth. Kerocha Foundation is uh, the, the brainchild of uh, the Kerocha Brewery CEO, Mrs. Tabitha Karanja. And uh, what she wanted to use the foundation um, is as a platform to share the experiences that she had for the last 19 years, uh, bringing up Kerocha Breweries and share it with our young entrepreneurs to shorten their learning curve and help them see how they can accelerate uh, growth in their businesses. So ideally what she's doing is helping them unlock their potential. Um, there's an intensive training course, there's an in training mentorship uh, program where they sit with mentors, they go into their businesses, they see what it is that they're doing and they, they help them to see that their, their, their plans that they have, they can fast track them if they're if they focused, if they're determined, if, if they put all their energies in their businesses. So we give them uh, different areas in branding, in communication, in marketing, in PR, in how to access financing, in how they can be leaders, um, how they can build great teams. And the purpose of all this is to ensure that we create a bigger pool of, of young uh, energetic entrepreneurs because entrepreneurship is the key to reducing poverty in this country, it is a key to reducing unemployment in this country, and it is a key to creating wealth for Kenyans. So that is why we are in this entrepreneurial space. And today, as you can see, the people who are here exhibiting with uh, under the Keroche Foundation stand are uh, entrepreneur mentees who have been with the foundation for the last one year. My name is Andrew Keo. I'm the founder and uh, the director at Blackjack Jeans. Uh, just like the name, we make uh, custom-made jeans, especially custom-made jeans, but now we are just venturing into bulk production of uh, jeans. I got to know about Kirocha Foundation because uh, one thing, uh, Tabitha Karanja is um, 
the big mentor. He's someone who motivates me so in so many ways. So I follow her mostly on her webs, uh, website for Kiroche Breweries. That is, uh, and then uh, when they launched uh, Kiroche Foundation, they had a uh, they had a website. So I would visit the website regularly. And that is how I learned about the mentorship. Yeah, I used to call myself a jack of all trades, but now I'm not. I'm just uh, stuck with making jeans because I know uh, there's a lot of demand for jeans in East Africa, and uh, the market is big. So I'm just working to see that I have a relative uh, market uh, market share. I've had a few people from Rwanda who wanted to have some jeans, so yeah, we made with them jeans. And uh, yeah, I'm not limited to just the local market. But the thing is, uh, the local market is really big, you know. And you first have to conquer at home, you know. Charity begins at home. That's why we are so much based uh, within Nairobi. But uh, suppose we get the the fundings we want to expand. Now we can actually expand and uh, now see how we can venture into East Africa. And uh, considering that um, Tumba is being phased out in the next three years. We should uh, be in a position to supply enough jeans to the market. Okay, my name is uh, Joanne Kanja. I'm in the manufacturing business. We manufacture uniforms, tents, and protectives. So some of the people we have uh, manufactured for include the Kenya Army, Kenya Navy, schools like uh, the Strathmore School, hotels, and among others. I am in an, an association called the Female Fewa. It's an association for female entrepreneurs. So usually they send us uh, weekly, weekly emails on information on what's happening in the business world. So I saw uh, that the Kerocha Foundation was looking for mentees. They had about six uh, factors which you had to satisfy. Then I felt I had satisfied them. That's when I applied and I, I got chosen into the foundation. Sometimes many people ask you, uh, are you sure you participate in tenders that you see them? We actually see our tenders in the, in the, in the, in the newspaper like everybody else and we participate. Sometimes some of these tenders ask for maybe the experience or the work that you've done. Give them good reference letters, show them good samples. Those are the things that speak for you when they go to evaluate in, in the technical evaluation. If your work is good, good quality, and your pricing is also good, it doesn't matter. You don't have to know anybody. Just participate. Indeed, the sky is the limit. There is no way our crew would live without visiting a couple of international exhibitors and this is what they had to say. I'm Nikki Summers, I'm the director for Sage One for East and West Africa. Um, so really why we we at the SME Expo is we are showcasing our Sage One product which is an online um, accounting application that we have developed as Sage to help SMEs because at the end of the day the reason is that there's, a st there's a statistic that says 80% of SMEs fail in the second year of operation. And the major reason for that is because of lack of financial record keeping. So what we've done is we've developed a product that's specifically for a small startup business that will enable SMEs to, to manage their business on the go. So the monthly fee is um, the equivalent of 1,200 um, Kenya shillings per month and that includes one company and two users and that gives you to access to everything in the application. Because for me I'm passionate about SMEs because I believe it's the SME that drives a country and the growth of the country. Even if you look around the world, the, the, the contribution that the SME sector does gives to the, the country's GDP is astronomical and I think the, sec the SME sector is really neglected so I think this is a ga great initiative. an experience that has been from Matas Technology in terms of DataGuard to the Kenya Private Sector Alliance to the Karoche Foundation, you now have a clear understanding of what exactly the small medium enterprises are currently doing for the general growth of the Kenyan economy. I have been your host, Paul K. Wanjiro at the Kenyatta International Convention Center, Nairobi.